Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Thread and Glue. This is Stephanie, and I thought today we would just play with some tags. I need a few for our journal we're making, so I thought we would just kind of play with them and make some together. I have gone ahead and cut out the width of the tags that I want. I did want to make mention, I made a template for my tag so that I would be able to just cut it out all the same size. I am using several things, but the first, the foundation I'm using on a lot of it are these paint chips that you get from paint stores like Lowe's or um, Sherwin-Williams, something like that. They're pretty good thickness, so they'll hold their shape pretty good for tags, and they're free. It's a free supply that anybody can get and use. Um, so let's just get started. And I had a couple of pages of this print that I really liked, so we're going to use that. And I think we'll start with those. We'll do all four of those right now. And I'm going to start by putting some Distress Stain on them. And, oh, there's my lid. Okay. We're going to use the Walnut Stain by Tim Holtz. And I don't know, we may use Antique Linen, but probably Walnut Stain mainly. This stain is so pretty to me. It darkens things up really nicely around your edges. It's um, darker than vintage photo. And it actually, it just looks like it's really old and worn. Maybe even a little um, singed some, which is kind of cool. It's a different look. So I don't know what you guys have been doing since I last talked to you, but we have been on hold with our move, waiting patiently for this weather. And you will not believe it, but so far, tomorrow is our day. I'm so excited so we can finally live in this house and I can stop going back and forth between houses. This is a beautiful house and I'm looking so forward to it, but there's still a lot of work to be done because once we get done moving everything out of that house, we have to clean that house. And that's always a job when you're cleaning out after eight, nine years of living there. It's not a not a very easy task, but we'll be on our way to being done, and I'm so excited for that because it's been so long, it seems like, just trying to get that done. I think I like that just like that, so we'll leave that distressing on that one. This one, I think we're going to just kind of roll around the edges and see if we like that better or worse or not at all, but moving finally, finally, you guys, I can't tell you what a relief it will be to finally be moved. My memo duck and I played in, in the craft room here last night, so I didn't get to film for you, but we did a trial run on making uh, fabric out of our scraps and strings. So I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. Let me finish doing this one here. And see if you guys would be interested in a tutorial on doing that. Um, I learned it from Lizzie Brewer. She's such a sweetheart. I just love her. So if you don't subscribe to her, you definitely should check her channel out. She will make your day every time she comes on. She just does. Okay, let me grab that and I will show you. I haven't trimmed any of the edges off, so it's kind of raggedy on the edges, but it's folded over in half. And you basically use your scraps and you can't really tell that all of the strings are glitter strings and the tool that's on top is glitter tool. So it's got a lot of shimmer and sparkle and a lot of fun colors in it. And I thought it would be kind of a fun journal cover, something different, kind of eclectic. Um, but just let me know if you guys would be interested in that. If you are, I'll make a tutorial. If not, then we'll move on. Okay, I like this look too. This is kind of a different grungy look. Not quite as, this one over here is a little bit, little bit aged, but this one's like, it's been through the ringer. So I like that. Let's do this one. Let's see, let's see if we can do kind of an in-between of the two a little bit. I hope you guys have had a good week and things have been going good for you. I'm, mine's been okay. 
a lot going on, a lot of family stuff to deal with, but that happens when you have kids, I guess. So, have to learn and deal with that. My, I don't know if I've ever told you guys about my pets yet, but I have a little Chihuahua Pomeranian mix. Her name is Honey Bun, and she is my heart. That thing, she just, she knows just what to do when I need it. And she sticks by my side through everything. Then I have Queen. Queen is a pit bull mix. Queen is a rambunctious, high energy dog. We are not a high energy family. <laughs> but Queen is making us to do more, which is good. We need to do more. And um, she is learning so much. She's about six months old now. And we're having to teach her that she can't use her mouth as an extended hand. She always has, since she was a puppy, used her mouth to, to hand and pick up things, and to do, I mean, which I know she's going to pick up things with her mouth, but I mean, like, she wants to touch you. She wants to hold your hand in her mouth. So we've got to get her broken from that because I don't want anyone to think that she's trying to bite them because she's really not. She's super gentle, and she has learned sit and stay and lay down. That's got those distress pretty good. Let's, you think we ought to try some of that vintage, uh, not vintage photo, but the, um, vent, the antique linen. Let's put a little bit on one. Maybe this one that's all grungy in the middle. So, Queen is a sweetheart. At night, she is the most loving baby ever. I mean, she is all about some love at night. <laughs> it's so funny because she wants to curl up in your arms like a baby. And she's just so big. But she does. She curls up in my arms and loves on me. And then we have two cats. They're my daughter's cats. I call them the big one and the little one. And I used to hate the little one. She got on my last nerves. But as of lately, she has been... I wish these had color names on them. They're not good for colorblind people. Um, she has been... Oh, there's a silver. I don't want silver. I want gold. I'm probably passing it up. This is probably supposed to be the gold. Um, she has decided that my bedroom, because that's where the big one likes to hide from Queen, she has decided that she really wants to be in there too. So she came in the other night and I didn't put her out. Usually I put her out every time because she just is so clunky. She gets into everything and she just, wow, she just bombards me. Now that's gold. That's more like it. I don't know why the gold and silver work together. This is how they came. Okay. So, let me get a new little pad here. We'll try this gold out on one. Um, anyway, the other night, she, I let her stay for the first time, and she realized I wasn't going to put her out. And she got so excited, and she came up and sniffed my hand, and she never touches me. She never gets near me because she's afraid I'm going to put her out, because usually I'm going to. Um... But I let her stay, and once I she got close to me, I pet her head, and she decided that it might be okay to let me pet her, which she's never done, and she is almost six six months old. Um. So, when she let me do that, I went ahead and I petted her down her back, and apparently that's her spot. She really loves that. <laughs> Uh, she does not purr. I've never had a cat that did not purr, but neither one of our cats will purr. They growl like dogs. It's really weird. Um, that's kind of cool. That kind of gives it a, a different grungy effect with a little shine. I like that. I think we'll do this other one that way here. I um, wonder if we just stamped on it what it would do. not bad. I 
Kind of gives it a nice shine. I'll run it down the sides and see if we get it. Oh yeah, we're getting some shine in that. That's nice. Um, so the big one, she's always been allowed in my room because she's very delicate. She just steps like on eggshells all the time. And that's just how she walks. She does really good. But every once in a while, she thinks it's time to get on my nightstand and knock my medicine bottles and everything off with her hand and look at me when she does one. Then she gets put out. <laughs> I like the look of these so far, guys. Um, let's see if we can put some lace on there. I got this lace at a thrift store here in town, and I just love it. I think it's so pretty. I think we might put lace on the top and the bottom on this one. I like that. I think that'll be good. So I'll just cut two of those. Okay. I did some, um, some rusting on some stickers and some metal elements from the Dollar Tree. And guys, they turned out so pretty. Here's some of the stickers. That you, it's kind of messy looking because it has everything on it, but they are totally rusted out looking. They look great. And these stickers were actually a tarnished silver to start with. And they say wish, forever, cherish. And I think the other one that I used said beautiful. I'm not for certain about that. It may have said love. Love, I think, is more what it said. But they're so pretty and they're so much better than just the dollar store look on stickers. So if you guys want to see how to do that, I'd be glad to do a video on that. I probably will do a video on that just because it was so much fun. And I'm going to go back and get more of the stickers and the hinges and things like that. And I also had gotten a pack of three of these metal tags there. And I did that. I did the other two like that. And they turned out amazing. So they're great in your journals. So we'll probably play with some of that and try that and see what we come up with. I did actually get Fabri-Tac instead since our last little visit that we had because I, that other stuff was a three-in-one glue but I tell you I was using it so much I almost used the whole bottle just making that journal cover and that was crazy it, but it wouldn't spread I couldn't use my spreader and spread it out I tried and it did not want to at all so I went to Walmart and picked up some Fabri-Tax and it's so much better. It's a thinner glue, but it holds so quick and so much nicer that I don't have to stress and worry if it's gonna come apart or not gonna do its job. <laughs> There's a little spot there I need some glue. Hold that down all the way across. Okay, let's trim these edges off. I don't know why, but when you trim the edges, it always looks so much more professional. <laughs> uh, I guess it's like that with anything. Like when, when I'm making quilt blocks, some of them I think are absolutely hideous until I actually trim the edges. It's got a little loose spot there. Um, but when you trim the edges, they're perfect. They're just, they just look amazing. They look like you really did something. <laughs> Okay, you guys, what do we want on these things? Let's put one of those stickers on here. I think that'd be pretty. Let's put um, the forever one. The interesting thing, I thought these were all one piece, but the wording in the middle is a separate sticker. I think that's about center there. Oh no, that's too far down. A little too far up. That looks good. We'll press it down there. These things smell great too because you use cinnamon to do it. And so I just pick up the second sticker and I put it back in its little spot because I really like that word down the middle. These are puffy. They're kind of uh, risen. And I think that's good. That'll be good for a tag. What do you think? Let me see if I'm getting it right. <laughs> Maybe so you can see it. There we go. Okay. So there's one. That was pretty quick and easy. Let's see, what are we gonna do with these other ones? 
I do have this trim that I used in the book, and that might be kind of pretty to put on one of these. I don't think I would do it on top and bottom, but just on one end. And I think it probably be the top because when you put your when you put your tags in there, the top is the part that sticks out. If you do it on the bottom, you're gonna have trouble with it wanting to go in there. Hmm, should I do the lace under that and then that? Because that's kind of how I did it in the book. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's much better. It gives it a more, more to it, I think. Okay, I like that. I think we'll go with that. You have to kind of finagle between the beading so that you don't cut the actual bead part because they will come apart. I was watching um, one of my favorite crafters to watch and journey with crafting and she got a bunch of stuff from Esme and Esme has a Facebook page and it's she sells the most amazing trims and things on there and I am looking forward her sales are on Fridays and she does them live so I'm Definitely going to step in one of her cells and see what I can find because my trim supply is a little bit, it's not, it's not low. It's just not what I really want for what I'm doing. So I think I will check it out and see what I can find that Esme has because the stuff that I've seen she has is phenomenal and you, you just don't get it just anywhere because I've seen um, what you can get at the stores around here, and I can't get anything like it. Not at all. I probably don't have to use Fabri-Tac for this part, but I've got it out, so I'm just doing it too. There we go. Just make sure it's straight, and then press it in. And make sure your beads are not going off the edges. Which I might should have moved that over just a little bit. Let me try to. Yeah, I can still move it. Because that one bead on that end, I don't want it to be too close. And then this end not have any. So we'll do it like that. There we go. Just run your finger along it to press it in. And we're going to trim the edges again. My favorite part. Well, if you cut straight, it's my favorite part. <laughs> I have a tendency, because I'm left-handed and I'm using right-handed scissors, I don't have any left-handed crafting scissors. I have sewing left-handed scissors, but you don't use your fabric scissors for this kind of thing. Okay, what do we got we can put on that? I think maybe we do a stamp. I have these bird stamps that are so pretty. Maybe one of these birds would fit nicely on there. I got these bird stamps, I think I told you guys, at the Dollar Tree. And they are really good stamps. We can do that Enjoy Life maybe there. See that? And then we'll do this bird that's sitting up. These I got at the Dollar Tree, and they are really good stamps. I was really impressed. They work really well. You don't have problems with them, you know, coming up. And I was afraid to have, like, a lot of missed spots in them when I used them. But they don't. And what do I do with my... There it is. So, we're going to... I don't think I can get both of those at once. Yeah, I'm, I can. Wow. Okay. Let's get our black ink out. I really want to get some stays on ink. I think... It might be better because it is permanent that I won't have any problems with it moving on me. And when you do things over this ink, it tends to shift a little bit. Put that there like that. I did not do a full impression. My table may be a little too bouncy. I put a new mat on top of a mat. Because there is actually a hole here where my serger used to sit. 
but I got rid of my serger. Let me pull this a little bit closer to me and see if we can line it back up and get it in there. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Er, squeeze it tight. Oh, much better. A little bit off, but it, it'll work good still. Cute. I like it. So, um, what have you guys been crafting? I'd love to hear in the comments so I know what you're into, what you really like to do, what you don't like to do. That way I know what, what kind of videos to actually make for you. I make videos usually based on what I'm doing at the time, which is fun, but if you're not going to enjoy the video, then there's no point in me making it that way. I just play in my craft room until I can't play anymore for the day. <laughs> That's kind of how I work. I just do it. Okay, I think that one's pretty good. That's not going to be anything more complicated than that. But this is how it's turned out. Enjoy life and the pretty bird on there. Those are pretty stamps, right? I thought they turned out really good. Really good stamps. I'm going to check and see what else they've got when I next time I go because... Um, they're just so pretty. Let me check and see if I have any other lace or something that we can put on this one. Hmm. I have this bucket. I call it a bucket, but it's like those, um, just a box. Oh, here's some different lace. Let's try this. It's got a little bit of a curve to it. But I think if we cut that band off, it'll flatten out. Let's try a piece and see. I wish they made it where you could pull that stitch right out that they put in there so that you didn't have to cut the lace off. It would be nice, but I don't guess they really thank a crafters when they're <laughs> making lace. Okay, let's see. Well, there was a whole little string there came out. Yeah, it flattened out nicely. So we can lay that down, use it. I think we'll do a side part here. We'll put that down. And then we need some ephemera or something to put on top. So let's get some of that out. Do we want a flower? Or should we go for a person? Or... Something else. Hmm. Have this. That would be kind of cute on there. Let's find us a little person and see what we think about them on there. I have these little paper dolls, you know, from, um, well, that's not too bad altogether, is it? Maybe if I put this down a little lower. Well, it may, it's a little crowded. Let's try it, just the people. Yeah, I don't like it as well as I do with that. So we'll stick with that. Um, these paper dolls are from Tim Holtz. And he, he does pretty good stuff. I, I like most of his things that he makes. I like his style, I think is what it is that I like so well. I wonder if we stuck him kind of behind there. No, he's just not going on there. Okay, let's get our lace tack down. And I know you can tack the lace, but there's so many holes, so I'm just going to put it on here. Do, do, do. My mom called me this morning and said, well, she texted me and she said, I think you might want to go clean up the new living room. Cause we still had stuff from when dad was using his um, saw table and stuff in there. She said, because your dad said tomorrow is going to be moving day. Well, of course I got right up. I was so excited because you know, you gotta do it. Um, and so I've been here over this house ever since I got up to do it. And so happy I did because I just love being in this room. There's just nothing, nothing better, I don't think. Put a, ah, 
I use tacky glue on that. I don't want to use all the fabric tack up because it's more expensive than the tacky glue. This is Aileen's tacky glue. I wonder if any of you have used the glue that you can buy in a gallon. You know, you can buy the PVA glue and then you can also buy a clear glue in the gallon size. And I wonder if any of you have used that, what your thoughts were, if you had any uh, any success with it, any failures. I was kind of considering ordering some of that so that I'd just order bottles with it and just replace the glue in the bottles all of the time. I don't know. Just trying to think of a the most economical way to buy glue because you can get pretty pricey with glue if you're not paying attention. See some of that ink is smeared in there, but that was the distressed ink there. Oh, I, I shifted the whole thing. Okay, I better put that down and let it be. I really think we need something on it. Maybe buttons. What about buttons? I have a ton of buttons, y'all. This is from my grandmother in her sewing room. All these buttons. There are all different kinds, but well, that's kind of a cool looking little piece. I don't know what we can do with that. We'll have to figure something out. Let's see. Um, I have these wood buttons. Those are kind of cool looking. But I don't know that they'd be very good just sitting on there. So we'll try to find a flat button for that. these. I'm not quite sure what color they are. If they're a beige color or if they are, I mean a tan color or if they are more of a peachy orange. I am colorblind so I work through it but you'll hear me think things out sometimes I'm sure. This one has a lot of interesting little brown beads in it to open. Don't think we want brown though. We might, we might could use some of that color. That's really pretty. We could put a few of those across there. Yeah, let's do that. Y'all should see my desk when I get done here. I have pulled out so much stuff, but I make myself put it all back at the end of the day because if I didn't, I wouldn't have room enough to do anything. All these things are in there good. You can't hardly get your scissors in there to cut it open. My grandma, she was she was good at this stuff. She would put things away and keep them organized and now they're loose. Those are so pretty, I think. How do we want to put them? Do we want to try to put a couple here and a couple on the bottom? Oh, well, thanks for putting them down there, Stephanie. Do them like that or maybe in a three set on I don't know, I think that might be getting too many buttons on there. I don't, I don't like them to be too crowded. But, what if we did one there, and, well, no, not quite right either. What if we did a matching? Yeah, that'd be okay. I think we'll do that. It's at least matching. <laughs> I've got to cut this little bag open now. It's all stapled together. These are some really cool colors in here. Ooh, those are pretty. Ooh, let's play with those. We'll play with those on the next one. I don't know how much that filled up. Hmm. Huh. I need a stapler, don't I? <laughs> I'll be done stapled everything shut and won't be able to get in it. That's what I'll do. I have some pins. I can put a pin through it. That'd be better. These pins are cute with the little flower heads, but they're not the best of pins. I, it's very hit or miss with them, so I like them for just crafting or throwing stuff together. Um, Because 
don't want to just throw them away. I paid like $8 for them. But I'm on a money kick today, I guess. I, that's all I seem to keep talking about. But I think when I watch the videos, I really wish people would tell me those kind of things. So I would know what to expect. I don't know. That's just my thought. I want to know what to expect when I go so I have my budget ready to pay what I want and get what I want. These are so little. I've just got big fingers, I think. It's like fumbling. My sweet friend Jen sent me some goodies for my birthday. And uh, she's a subscriber on here. I haven't gotten the last package, she said. So when I get the last package, I'm going to do a happy birthday um, shout out for her. I don't guess it's called a shout out. What is that called? Happy mail. Yeah, happy mail. It was so fun. I have never had anyone do that for me before. And I, I didn't know quite what to say or do. But I'm doing all that I know to. It's, it's just such a sweet, sweet thing. I think growing up, we really didn't have, we really didn't celebrate birthdays very much. About every two or three years, we'd have a birthday cake. So to have someone send me presents was so, so heartwarming. Because I'd always wanted that when I was growing up, you know, because you're a kid, you want everything. But I think those letters are a little too white. Let's put this gold on them. Will it do the gold? It's not really taking away the color, is it? Just putting gold on that paper, which is fine. Kind of smearing it around. Let me see. Do we have the? Here's our. Yeah, though that's taking it away some. Of course, it's taking out my gold too that I like. There we go. Now we're getting that gold back on there. It kind of just distresses it some. Really pretty. That was a good one. We've done three so far already. Let's do this fourth one of this, and then we'll do a couple of cluster boards. Hmm. I wonder, do I have a ribbon or something that would look right with these? I just love those. I think they'd be so pretty just put on there like this. Probably up closer to the top so that when we stick them in, there's not a problem with them being raised. Let me look for a ribbon. I don't know that I really have much ribbon. That's the one thing I don't think I've actually accumulated. <laughs> I've accumulated a lot of things for this, but ribbon wasn't, wasn't one of them. Oh, that's so pretty. It's really white, but we could, we could age that. That's really pretty. Life. Hmm. There's a ribbon, but I don't like those colors. Too many choices, I think, is our problem. <laughs> wow, there's a whole big bag of stuff. I bought a bunch of stuff at an estate sale, and I don't really know what's all in it. So, we're going to have to just start playing with it. That's pretty. We might use that. That's not... Oh, look at that trim. That might be fun on there. Well, it just keeps going. I was just pulling that out. There we go. There's a trim. Ooh, this is pretty too. But that wouldn't need buttons, so we won't use that one. We'll put that one back up for another time. Okay, no lace, no ribbon, but we do have this lace that is different, and it's wide. So it might be kind of cool on there. It almost takes up the whole thing. Do we want to do that? It just kind of shines and peeks through? Let's try it. What have we got to lose, right? Where's some scissors? I put them down. Oh, there they are. I think the other one that I have out here is just too wide. 
And I don't really feel like distressing at all right now, so we'll work with this. Tell me what your journals look like. Um, send me pictures so I know what your style is and what your taste is. It's kind of fun to get to know each other in, in that way. And I'm hoping once I get settled in really good and the room is all good, we can start doing some either some swaps or some um, something fun together just so we can actually play together, you know? trim these edges. Not much to trim because I cut it pretty close. There's that one. And that one, I don't think there's really anything. Maybe a thread. Okay, so we got that so far. Look at this trim. Did you see this trim I pulled out? This trim is just, it's almost like chenille the way it feels. I wonder what that would look like. I mean, that's kind of put that on the edge. It gives it a little raised appearance, and it gives it some dimension. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Oh, there I go, trying to use these right-handed scissors with my left hand. It just doesn't work. They just don't want to work that way. Okay, let's put this down. My glue is kind of gloppy. I'll get one of those pins so we can fix it. I need to just leave those pins open, I think. Oh, yeah. It had a gloppy spot on the top. We'll keep that so we can keep it with the glue. If it'll come off of me. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting some glue. sure if I want those buttons now. Isn't that funny? I love the buttons, but I'm not sure that they will really go with this. Oh, I don't think I've got enough glue there. I would have just put the glue directly on this, but it tries to curl up on you. There we go. Now we got that thing down. Do we need some more down here. Yep. Even the little lace is pulled up down here. Okay. Let's turn those clean. And up here. Now. Moment of truth. Do we use these buttons or not? It's kind of, kind of wouldn't be bad with just one, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I don't think all three. I think that's just maybe too much. Hmm. Maybe one, but we need something there. Get this little scrap of this paper. What would that look like? Oh no, it doesn't do good. Hmm. Let's see what kind of paper we have in here that we might get. Well, that just came right off. We might can use there. Hmm. This part's kind of cool with the little envelope. Put that out. Y'all, you know I bought that tear ruler set. And I have the hardest time using that. I cannot seem to get it to actually pull where I'm wanting it to pull and tear from. It's the craziest thing. 
I have found that if I will stand it straight up, <laughs> it will do it. But it will also be, oh, that's so pretty on the back side. What side do we want? It will also be, um, you know, I think that other side's prettier. You don't think we need quite as big of a piece. think. No, it just don't work with the rate of it. I keep trying. And if we do one of these things, I don't want to do two of those, too many of those. What other stickers do we have here? The things that we could use. We've got these. Kind of bright. I did not age these. Hmm. No, I just don't think it really works. I wonder about that little piece right there. What, what would it do? No, too much color in those little knob things. Well, how about some old book page? I think that'll be a good good thing to get. This little old book. Tore that all wonky, didn't I? I like the old book there. Hmm. No, I just don't think that really works. Kind of sad. Better. I like that. I think we'll go with that. This little thing up. I should be tearing it, shouldn't I? Oh, let me tear the edges a little bit. And then we'll distress them. I am going to be packing up and bringing some more things over tonight. There are some smaller things that we've been using. Had to have them still at that house, but um, now that we're going to be moving tomorrow, we can go ahead and get them over here. Like the rest of my kitchen stuff, things like that. Yeah, that's going to look good. Let's use our tacky glue. I like that better. It doesn't show that little fold thing. So that'll be nice. So maybe we can get them over here and get them put away so that it's ready for us when we're here tomorrow. Kind of shorten. Because tomorrow is going to be really busy. Okay. Now we've got our book page down. So pretty. Oh, I didn't distress it. Oh, it's all gone. Um, where's my other little dauber thing? I took off. Do y'all ever do that? And use what you... There it is. Let's just try and see if we can just do it. Oh, yeah. There, and then we'll put our, this little piece. Let's put our little color on it. Helps if I use the right side, doesn't it? <laughs> There we go. Now we'll put our glue on it. 
my journal is coming along really good. I've done a few pages in it since we last spoke and I last put up a video. So we'll have to go through that and kind of see what all's new. Yeah, that's going to look good there. I love these little buttons. They're like a swirly brown. Let me see if I can get the camera to pick it up. You see how swirly it is? They have like this X, um, this box look on top. Kind of cool. I probably should be using hot glue for this. I haven't gotten my hot glue gun out. I'm afraid if I do, I won't use anything else. Because <laughs> it's so fast and easy. But, okay. Guys, we did a four of these already. So let me show you what we did. We did this one. And this one, this one with the birdie, and this one with these other little buttons. Let me hold those up to you so you can get a better look. There's one. And there's two. Our third one with our bird stamps on it. And our fourth one. So we did pretty good getting four of these done in this video. So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas using your paint chip stamps, um, paint chips from from the paint store. And use whatever you have around. It's just something fun to do and you don't have to pay for everything. You get stuff free all the time. You get junk mail, you get everything. Um, like your packaging that stuff comes in a lot of times you'll have like with the with the Dollar Tree stuff It has this um, Let me see if I've got one No, it doesn't have one with it. This this stamp backing kind of no, that's not going to show you either. It has a um, A Textured back not textured but the look of texture on it and so it's good to put behind stuff to give it that extra look um, and you can use that to make tags whatever just don't throw away your extra good stuff because you're never going you won't ever know if you need it all right guys i hope that this has been fun for you and i want to get um something out for you just a second If you remember during my thrift store haul, I got this book by Beth Moore called Breaking Free. And it's just little short excerpts and verses. So I thought we would just kind of read one at the end of each video and see what, what we think. We've got a little bookmark so we can mark our place. We'll just start at the beginning. And the first one says, May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. Colossians 1.11 So I hope that that will carry you through. And I pray for God's love and mercy on everything that you do. And until next time, I'll talk to you then. Bye.